Thank you, Shannon. We, um, we're very happy to see a full room. Believe, uh, believe me when I say that three, four months ago we were kind of concerned about this conference. The second time we organized it, and we're, and we're very happy. So uh, Mike Dixon, Domingo Tarto, who's also part of uh, our chairman uh, or third person uh, group, and myself um, are happy to welcome every one of you, but we, we believe there's a special, we owe a special thanks to those of you who responded to our request to come and donate your time uh, and present technically or operationally your experience uh, in, in reuse. Um, we think, uh, we think, I mean, we called you because you are, we believe you're the best uh, in the world. We believe you will make a contribution. We believe that, um, that you know, as Professor Mujeriego told us, we're not going to make a huge difference tomorrow, but we believe definitely it's a step in the right direction to uh, promote reuse and actually make this planet a better place. So we're, we're making one step at a time um, a nice contribution. So we, why Valencia? I think I've been, I've been asked about that, and I think we've been, we've been answering that along the way in this, in this opening. But first, um, it's the third largest city in Spain after Madrid and Barcelona. Number two, it has a beautiful city and a, and a nice historic center that hopefully some of you will, will already have or will be able to, to enjoy. And it's filled with cultural attractions, including the, the Valencia uh, Arts and Science Museum, which we will be enjoying tonight during our social and networking event uh, sponsored by Almar Water. Number three, uh, Valencia location on the coast and the Mediterranean climate that has been mentioned already provides a wonderful weather and is why one is one of the the, the most attractive tourist destinations in Spain. Number four, who has not heard of paella, the, uh, the, the national dish of Spain? It's actually the, the dish of Valencia. This is where paella was born. So cuisine and, uh, and gastronomy is a nice uh, incentive for Valencia. Uh, number five, the city is also the home uh, for the University of Valencia, which uh, offers a master's degree in water resources management. Uh, so. We, we found a lot of reasons, but we also had to find some business reasons. Uh, so number six, uh, from a business standpoint, and it has been mentioned already, Spain is quite advanced in water reuse, uh, especially on the industrial and agricultural side. Uh, it recycles and reuses most of its industrial uh, wastewater, and a significant portion of, of irrigation water is reused. And Valencia is at the center of that. So we have uh, certain sites that are nearby that we will be able to visit as part of this, uh, this conference. So we hope all, all delegates have a, a great conference and enjoy the beautiful weather, the amazing city of Valencia, and the Spanish food and hospitality. And now Mike Dixon, uh, my, my co-chair, um, who's actually to blame for the excellent technical program we have put together, will provide an overview of what we can expect in the next rest of the day and the next couple of days. Thank you. So in drawing your attention to the technical sessions now, we have a lot of really great papers in store for you over the next couple of days. Um, what we're really excited about at this conference is having so many industrial papers involved in the technical sessions. Uh, at the IDA, many times we see a majority of our presentations being on municipal water treatment. So we're excited that almost half of our presentations this week are about industrially focused projects. Uh, on top of that, we're really happy with the representation that we have from all around the world. Uh, firstly, we've got some key reference plants that are talking this week. Uh, in particular, Sulabia in Kuwait uh, and the Orange County plant as well. Uh, we've also got some very interesting sessions, uh, novel technologies, for joint desalination and research, uh, sorry, and reuse. Uh, and we've also got a really key collaborative project that was undertaken in Australia uh, called WaterVal. So I encourage you to go and attend that session. Uh, and finally, we've got a very good focus on the circular economy, which I think everyone will agree is a very interesting and important topic for the whole world right now to ensure that we make every drop count. So just to finalize and wrap up this session is we have a quick uh, housekeeping issue to bring to your attention. Uh, due to technical reasons, we had to change one of the locations of the technical sessions. So if everyone turns in their program, 
to this afternoon's session. So the technical sessions are marked Valentia A, Valentia B, and Valentia C. From 14.30 onwards and for the rest of the program, instead of that first stream occurring in Valentia A, it'll now be upstairs in meeting room two. It's a very short walk. It's only about 45 paces out the door and 31 paces upstairs. So if you've got a Fitbit like myself, you'll be very pleased that you'll get at least two flights of stairs in going upstairs once. So thank you very much. We very much appreciate everyone uh, attending this week uh, from far and wide, and we really hope you enjoy the technical sessions that we've put together. <laughs>